Hi, I'm Terry Oakland. This is a reading for SN. SN is a big supporter of the channel, by the way. I see SN leaving a lot of nice comments and all that good stuff. So, you know, I don't say thank you often. Thank you, SN, for coming to the channel, leaving all these nice comments and watching my videos and, and being a regular supporter of the channel. I do appreciate it. I don't say thank you enough to all of you for watching all these videos. So thank you so much. I'm trying to get the cards back in the box. Anyway, SN wanted me to use the Dark Mansion Tarot, and that's what we're going to be using today. So what do the cards want you to know? Because SN says, I just love your channel. Thank you. You're a great teacher. I enjoy your videos. Thank you again. The way you explain card interaction barriers really give me a new insight into tarot. Well, that's good because I like card interactions because, you know, originally I learned so many things about tarot. I got kind of confused as to how to do a reading. Once you have 30 pages dedicated to one card after you read 100 books, kind of confusing. So I came up with that method. I'd really love a general reading if you could use the Dark Mansion cards. So here we have the Dark Mansion cards. <clears throat> we'll do a general reading for you. What are the cards want you to know? A general reading is really general. I usually don't do general readings unless the person's here, but I don't know. It's sometimes a general reading, you're just, just way, way, way different than a specific reading. I guess I just jive better with specific questions. But we'll do a general reading for you because you're so nice. All right, um, you have a friend, a female friend, who exhibits a lot of conflicting behaviors. So sometimes they're one way, and then sometimes they're another way, and you just get sort of confused. I mean, you like the person, you appreciate them, you like to hang out with them and things like that, and they are a good friend, but you get that feeling that something else is going on. Kind of like, you know, uh, it's just something's off. So the universe wants you to know, the cards want you to know, that that person actually had something in the past that happened that they haven't told you about. So they have sort of a, a mixed past, and they're always sort of, they're not really always thinking about it, but it does come up, and it's sort of uh, built-in insecurity for this person. They're not exactly the way that, that, you know, completely open with you about everything. So a lot of times they'll just make things up or they'll look for attention in, in the wrong kind of ways. I'm drinking some water, by the way. So it's difficult to, to tell you these things. It's difficult to communicate these things. So the universe wants you to know that this person's really, you know, really likes you. They're really in tune with you, and they really enjoy hanging out with you and everything else. And so it's one of those things to where you have to get more comfortable once they get to know you a little more or whatever, then they're going to be more relaxed, and it's going to be something that, that um, that's going to be a little better situation. So you're confused about the, you know, the friend, and sometimes you're just like, what the hell's going on? Just know that it'll work out eventually. It's something where they just have to warm up and do all that stuff. So um, there's also a, it's almost like a man at work, and a man at work is, um, it's kind of a, maybe a bit of a overpowering asshole, you know, kind of thing. So it seems like a bit almost a greed or uh, just a little bit more stringent or a little bit more um, strict about things than you're used to or something like that. So um, it's one of those things to where that person is going to be actually leaving within the next year, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. Uh, even if he's like your manager or something like that, he's going to be out and somebody else is going to be in. So he's not exactly particularly happy with the job that he's doing now. So. He's kind of looking forward to leaving, and the universe is sort of shuffling him out of the position. It's not one of those things where he's going to be there for a ton longer. So sort of put up with him and let him know, and you know, not let him know. Just put up with him and sort of, you know, don't be, don't be too judgmental with him because he's not really going to be there for another year and everything's going to work out just fine. Uh, it looks like within 2020, you're going to have a, a good year. It's going to be a little better financially. I think you sort of have this comfort level with money that you sit at. And your comfort level with money is is going to be maintained, but the money that you have is going to be better used. In other words, things are going to work out monetarily wise in 2020 for you. But not like, you know, hey, I won the lottery or something like that, or, you know, this big thing. I think it's going to be something to where your finances just come into, um, come into, 
come into a balance to where everything is going to be okay. And 2020 is going to be better with money. It's going to be, again, you have this comfort level with money, and that comfort level is going to remain, but it's just going to be better used or better um, sort of an increase, but, you know, not like a massive increase or something like that. Um, love relationships. I don't really see this as love relationships. I think friends are extremely important to you. That's what I'm getting from across the, the spectrum of these cars. So friends are extremely important to you. You do have one friend um, that is going to come into your life that is sort of a new friend so somebody who you really don't know well, they're going to come into your life, but then they're going to leave after a while as well. There's someone that is sort of a, a backstabbing type person, but you don't really tell that immediately. It's not something where your intuition kicks in and you're like, this person is a real backstabber. But, but it's something like that to where they're not really honest. They're not really genuine with you. And it's something that you can't really sense. They're really good at it. They're a Gemini and they're a little bit older than you and it's one of those things to where you're kind of confused about their purpose and but they're actually kind of a user or a trickster as they call it some people call it and it's one of those things to where you're gonna to have to watch out for this person and not give them too much information so um, again you're gonna trust them entirely and you're not gonna have any issues with them but it's one of those things to where you really need to watch out and not tell them too much um, you know, watch them on social media. Don't really, you know, keep, don't keep your distance, but keep a personal distance. Don't let them know a lot of personal things about you because it could come back to haunt you. Um, one of those things to where that's just going to happen. And again, the Gemini, it's an unusual situation because again, you don't really think that they're a bad person or they're untrustworthy or anything like that. But in reality, they do have a tendency to do that. You will get a hint when talking to them that you know they sort of betrayed someone before but they give you all sorts of good excuses of why they did that and you're like you know i would have betrayed that person too but just be aware that you know you could be next so again keep your um keep your informational distance or emotional distance from this person and um and again it's gonna be something they really trust you really think you know you want to get to know it's going to be a really good friend and all that it's not really going to work out that much they're going to leave probably within six seven months are going to be out and um, it's one of those things to where they're going to try to turn other friends against you and things like that so just be aware that this person is coming and um, you know be careful as far as how much information you give out anyway that is my reading for sn again sn thank you for being a great supporter of the channel if you would like a free tarot reading email me at the uh, email address in the description and as always, hit like and subscribe. By the way, it takes a few weeks to get your reading out. So, you know, don't ask me something that's happening next week. You probably won't get a reading uh, until a long time later. So thank you for watching.